Yeah. Probably wondering why I'm walking like this. Well, you're about to find out. We came, we saw, we destroyed our hamstrings and glutes. What's up guys, Coach Joe here at the Lions Den located in Colmar, PA. If you happen to be in the area or you wanna make the drive, come train here. It's open to everybody, not just for me. Everyone's welcome, we'd love to have you. In this workout, okay, I set out with two goals, two goals. One, destroy my hamstrings and my glutes. And two, I wanted to do that with three exercises. No BS, straight to the point. How can we accomplish this? And for the most part, all of this stuff can easily be done in whatever gym you train at or in your home gym. I made it very simple because uh, I wanted anybody to try this and feel what I feel right now, which is basically a diaper pump. And what I call it a diaper pump is like if you were a baby and you pooped your diaper and it's loaded full of poop, how they waddle back and forth. That's essentially how I feel right now, except for it's not filled with poop. I hope not. It's filled with blood. Okay. Well, not my, my glutes are filled with blood, not my diaper. So anyway, first exercise right off the bat we did, and this is something I have not done a lot. So I know you former mongers are gonna be critiquing me, and I'm here to tell you I'm no expert at this exercise, only done it a handful of times, but I started off with these sumo deadlifts. So yeah, you better call my girlfriend and tell her that I'm cheating on her. Uh, obviously, there's some things I can play with my technique. After watching the video, I realized that my knees uh, were kind of either coming forward or I wasn't driving them out as much and kind of working on that relationship with the shin toe angle uh, and just my leg in general. But I really like these because that wide stance is really gonna smash those hamstrings, those glutes, uh, both the inside and outside, the ab and adductors, especially for me, someone who hasn't done this in a while, I was feeling it all over. Uh, when I was doing these, I didn't wanna do anything abnormal rep wise. So I just was doing six to eight reps and my top sets were all six reps. The weight, relatively light, it's a novel stimulus. I just wanted to get the movement pattern in and it did the trick, all right? I'm telling you, my hamstrings, my glutes, everything was, was firing, the stimulus was fantastic. One thing I did notice was that I'm extremely out of breath, so I gotta work on my GPP, and that's something I have been working on, but I really need to emphasize that uh, because I should not be as winded as I was doing the sets for today. Throw in those sumo deadlifts. You can play around with your stance. You can play around with your grip. Uh, I've seen people do them on deficits as well. So deficits is gonna be just a, a longer range of motion, something maybe I'll play around with in the future. Uh, and the other reason I liked it is I didn't feel my lower back as beat up as doing normal conventional deadlifts or stiff leg deadlifts. So great variation for overall fatigue management. Throw them in, try them out. And specifically for you ladies out there, this workout, I mean, I'm telling you, you're gonna have a diaper pump like you've never experienced. I'm telling you, you're gonna walk down the street and people are gonna be like, wow, wow, they do sumo deadlifts. First off, you guys see this combo rack? We got a combo rack here at Lions End now, so we're officially, officially a powerlifting gym. On top of the fact that I just did sumo deadlifts. Now we got a combo rack, life is good. Powerlifters, you're welcome. We're only taking about five powerlifting divas at a time, so reserve your spot online. Second exercise for the most outrageous diaper pump of your life is going to be hip thrusts. Now I'm a man, men. A lot of men out there on the streets are like, dude, that's for chicks, I don't wanna do it. But guess what? Guys who have nice booties get extra brownie points. And I'm telling you, these things are gonna to torture your glutes. How are they gonna to torture your glutes? Well, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do higher volume. So I was trying to do uh, 12 to 15 reps. That sweet spot for me was around 12 reps. And you're gonna add a one to two second pause at the top. I really feel like that one to two second pause just smashes those glutes. Uh, so add that pause in. I did three sets of these. And you can tell by my facial expressions. These are no, no bull crap facial expressions. This is me truly in agony on the fact that my butt just hurts so bad. And that sounds so wrong but it's so true at the same time. I'm not gonna lie, usually whenever I do Bulgarian split squats, that's like one of my least favorite exercises in the sense that I just feel like my soul is leaving my body and that I hate everything, life, existence, everybody around me. It just, it's a really painful experience. However, I've come to the conclusion that this entire workout felt that way the entire time. So, warning, parental advisory, don't do this unless you're really trying to get into the pain cave. 
Now I did this exercise right here. This is my third exercise, so three out of three. I try to mimic similar to a lunge pattern and a Bulgarian split squat. So I put them together and I basically did a split stance uh, lunge or squat, I don't know the proper term, uh, on a deficit. So I was standing on the 45 pound plates and basically it's gonna feel like a Bulgarian split squat, but you're able to get a deeper range of motion. And I like that lunge position because it's really gonna help uh, utilize the glutes, especially if you go heavy. So a lot of people, even when I see doing lunges, they go too light and they feel a lot in their quad. And yes, I felt this in my quad for sure. Uh, but the heavier I go, when I keep that upright torso and I'm driving through my entire foot, I can really feel that glute at the top of the movement, okay? So adding that deficit is really gonna help. Uh, with this, I did three sets. I was shooting for like 12 per leg. Uh, last set was around 10 per leg and that was all I could give. I was kind of getting stuck, my Bambi legs, that whole deal, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so that's what I did. So three sets, bang those out, enjoy the suck, and that's pretty much it for the three exercises. But wait, there's more. Now, hear me out. Did the three, hated my life, got a tremendous stimulus to the hamstring and glutes, but if you know Coach Joe, he wants to add that little, mm, that chef's kiss, the icing on the cake, all right, the cherry, on the top, the ice cube into the drink, because I like ice cubes when I drink. <laughs> I smashed the remainder of my legs. There's a little bit left in there with a wide stance belt squat. And when I was doing this, I was sitting back where I was keeping my shins really vertical. First thing right off the bat I noticed is that my knees did not hurt as bad. That's purely anecdotal, but somebody who has maybe some knee pain, try it out, see if it helps you, giving you a squat variation that doesn't cause knee pain. Secondly, I felt it a lot more in the hamstrings and the glutes. Now for this, I had in my mind, you know, two sets, I'm gonna do high volume. Now, I thought about it and then I said, why don't we just do one set close to failure? Because honestly, this workout destroyed me. I was very out of breath and I just figured I'd get the same amount of volume in with just one set and less time and I can get out of here. So I try to hit anywhere from 30 to 50 reps, and I just hit 30. By the time I hit 30, I was pinned in the bottom. I could not feel any muscle fiber in my body or in my brain, and I decided to call it a day there. All right, now if you want to one-up me, go for two sets. You're a freakazoid. I will give you a freaking lollipop for that. Uh, but one set was all it took on there, and we accomplished the goal, all right? Like I said, we got a crazy diaper pump going. Uh, I'm going to be a head turner when I was a walk down the streets later on today, mainly because I look like the guy from Men in Black as, as he walks. Uh, and then secondly, because my diaper pump is so outrageous that people can't stop and stare and potentially cause traffic incidents and car crashes. So that's it, guys. There you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed that workout. Uh, if you're looking to blow up the glutes, the hamstrings, three exercise. If you want to add the chair on top, you can. If not, stick with three. About three sets per exercise, a little bit higher volume adding those little points and cues that I talked about with each exercise is really gonna get you the stimulus you desire, uh, especially for the females out there, right, who want to develop bigger legs, bigger glutes, that kind of stuff. This is a great workout for you. Uh, so don't be afraid to try this stuff, especially if you're a guy as well, and hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe, like the video, and uh, stay with Lean Mean Strength Machine. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.